you will need an image of the picture that you are going to be painting on the cake. So I just traced this from a picture on the internet. I've already made my cake and covered it in fondant. I've seen on tutorials that you should cover your cake in fondant the day before you plan to paint it. I don't know why. So I bought the fondant and I made the cake from a cake mix. It's strawberries and cream flavoured uh, because that's my one of my cousin's favourite flavours. So you'll need a few dishes to mix your paints in. You will also need some brushes. This is a makeup brush. Yes, it's clean, although it's stained. Um, and this is a Warhammer brush. You just need brushes that uh, have good bristles and are not going to be leaving bristles behind on the cake. You need a knitting needle or a skewer or something uh, similar to that, and I'll show you what you need it for in a moment. And you need some gel food coloring. Uh, I used more colors than I'm showing here. But you do need gel food colouring. Um, this is silver edible paint. I had an idea for the cake but I never followed through with it so I didn't actually use that silver paint. Um, I also have a few petal dusts and powdered um, food colourings. and vodka. You don't need that much vodka. I probably only used about a third of that bottle by the end of it. So here I'm, I've put the image on top of the cake and I'm literally just pressing down in a kind of medium firmness with the knitting needle just so I have an imprint so I know where to paint. Now I'm mixing up a sort of flesh colored tone to paint her face. So you just need it to be like a, a sort of paint thickness. So you add the colour and then the vodka until you're happy. So I'm painting it here. You can't really see at the moment, but I'm just, I can see the indentations that I made with the knitting needle. So I know where to paint. Now I'm going to be painting her scarf. So I wanted this to be a really bright red. So I've used a bit of the petal dust and the gel food coloring. Now at the end, and I didn't do this, at the very end when the paint is dry, you can um, use a brush and brush on some of the dry petal dust straight onto the scarf and that will give you a more vibrant color. But I didn't do that. Same with the black. In the areas in the hair that you'll see in a moment that are black, you can also use petal dust dry on the top of it and that will just make it a more vibrant colour and I didn't do that. So you don't, you really don't want uh, too much on your brush. You don't want it to be too wet. It only takes about 10 or 15 minutes uh, for one layer to dry. Uh, but I always dip my brush into the paint and then get rid of the excess on the side of the container. And then I also dry my brush a little bit um, on a paper towel. Now here I'm going over the outlines. I ordered a, an edible food texture uh, from the cake shop where I got all of my uh, ingredients from and only upon picking up my order did they say that they were sold out of the edible food markers. Now that would have been um, a lot easier for me uh, if I had an edible food marker instead of having to use a brush for all of these tiny details and I wouldn't have had to do so many layers on it as well because you should always paint um, 
with the kind of lighter colour than you need and then just keep doing layers because it's really hard to get the paint off. If you, if you make a mistake or you've done it too dark, it's hard to take the paint off the white fondant. So always just go a little bit lighter and then do more layers to build up that colour until you're happy with the colour. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing a second layer on the grey paint and now I'm going over the outline of the eyes again and all the other outlines with the black. The cake is on a board and I've covered the board in fondant uh, but there's a lot of bumps and nicks in the fondant on the board so when I painted it green a lot of those marks became more visible. So you'll see what I do with that in a minute. I'm going to do a forest. If you, if you have a pattern on it, it will cover up most of the marks. You won't be able to notice very much. Now I've just painted the shadows on the face with very, very light um, grey, so I just took the same grey that I used for the hair and I just mixed it with a little bit more vodka to make it just a little bit um, more transparent. So doing another coat on the scarf, you want the scarf to be very vibrant and red like it is in the show, so you have to do lots of coats for that. And now I'm doing the shadows, I've got a reference from the picture that I've used from the internet and the picture that I um, drew. Uh, to do the impression on the cake. You can see um, at this stage you can see all of the marks on the fondant board coming through because of the green paint and I think I've already done a second layer on that now. So now just going back over the eyes and the face just to get that outline really black. If you had a marker you wouldn't have to do it so many times. You'd only have to do it once and maybe just another touch up. But that's all. Now you really don't want a lot of liquid on your brush because if you have too much liquid on your brush you'll start taking off the previous coat um, that you've just placed on before. It'll come off with the brush so you just want it fairly dry. You need to wait until the coat is dry before you can do another coat of paint. Otherwise it just does it won't work out for you. You'll get very frustrated. Really doing the shadows as well on the hair. Um, a good thing about anime is that it's not too intricate and detailed when it comes to shading and things like that. So it's just a lot easier to paint. I added this scarf. The scarf wasn't in the original picture. So I've added the scarf by myself. Um, and I don't really know where the creases and things are, so I've just added some creases to make it a little look a little bit more realistic. So now I'm painting on some trees on the background. This will make the fondant board um, look a lot nicer to begin with, but you also won't notice all of those little bumps and gashes. Now I'm using um, my brush. I've just put a little bit of paint on. Um, it's basically dry brushing to do some leaves and foliage uh, over the top. 
and then I mixed a little bit of yellow in with that. Oh, it's all over my hand. Mix a little bit of yellow all in with the, the green that I used previously. Give it something different on the bottom, like grass. Now I'm just doing a little bit of an outline just to give a little bit more definition on the trees. Um, I think I used just black for that. And it was just a little bit, just to give it some more definition, a bit more depth. And there's the cake. There you go, it's still a little bit wet. You can see it's a bit shiny, but it's finished. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make Daddy, this Attack on Titan Mikasa cake for my cousin's 21st birthday, birthday. For our Connor's birthday. Happy Connor. birthday, Connor! Bye! Bye bye! Rosie, say bye to the camera. Cake! Bye. Will you bye. Wow! <laughs> 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 She's having a little bit scarf. Oh, adorable. You like it? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so sorry.